Chapter 19, I want to begin our reading this morning at verse 11. Thank you for joining me. It says, while they were listening to these things, Jesus went on to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem and they supposed that the kingdom of God was going to appear immediately. So he said, a nobleman went to a distant country to receive a kingdom for himself and then return. And he called 10 of his slaves and gave them 10 minas and said to him, do business with this until I come back. But his citizens hated him and sent a delegation after him saying, we do not want this man to reign over us. And when he returned after receiving the kingdom, he ordered that these slaves to whom he had given money be called to him so that he might know what business they had done. The first appeared saying, Master, your mina has made 10 minas more. He said to him, well done, good slave, because you've been faithful in a very little thing. You're able to have authority over 10 cities. The second came saying, your mina, Master, had made five minas. And he said to him also, and you are to be over five cities. And another came saying, Master, here's your mina, which I kept Put away in a handkerchief, for I was afraid of you because you're an exacting man. You took up what you did not lay down and reap what you did not sow. And he said to him, by your own words, I judge you, you worthless slaves. Do you know that I am an exacting man, taking up what I did not lay down and reaping what I did not sow? Then why did you not put my money in the bank? And having come, I would have collected it with interest. He said to the bystanders, take the mina away from him and give it to the one who has ten minas. They said to him, Master, he has ten minas already. I tell you that to everyone who has, more should be given. But from the one who does not have, even what he does have should be taken away. But these enemies of mine who do not want me to reign over them, bring them here and slay them in my presence. Stewardship. Jesus had much to say during his earthly ministry about stewardship. And the idea of stewardship, it really is very simple. And an equation always helps me. Blessings plus opportunity equals responsibility. You know, God, he blesses us in many ways. He blesses us with all good things. He blesses us uh, monetarily. He blesses us with gifts and talents and abilities. And God expects us to use these things in his kingdom. And there is coming a day where accounts will be settled. We will give an accounting of how we have used the good things that he has blessed us with. Have we used them to his glory? Have we used them to the best of our ability? Have we used them in our service to others? Have we used them to bring people um, in, to a knowledge of truth? What are we doing with the good things that God has blessed us with? Blessings plus opportunity equals responsibility. Let's ask that question of ourselves this morning. What are we doing with what God has blessed us with? Let's pray together. Our Father in heaven, Father, thank you. Thank you for being our God. Thank you, Father, for your word, for these reminders. Father, be with us today. Help us, every single one of us, to examine our hearts, to examine our um, resources, our blessings, our talents, our ability. Help us to question ourselves, Father, and be honest and are we using these things to your glory? Are you pleased with the way that we're using the good things you're blessing us with? Are we enhancing the lives of others? Are we using them to bring others to you? Father, give us the courage and the wisdom to be good stewards, to recognize that all good comes from you, Father. Father, be with the Hart family. Uh, help them in days to come. Give them comfort in the loss of our sister, Madge. So thankful for her and for her example. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.